there. This is Christy Martin with BrightSpiritRising.com. Thanks for watching and welcome if you're new. Today is August 31st, 2018, and I've just been challenged to do a daily reading throughout the month of September, um, a spirit animal reading every single day. And I thought I'd just get the ball rolling by just doing a bonus one to start with um, at the end of August. So I'm going to be using my spirit animal awareness or card deck, at least for today. I don't always use cards. Sometimes I will just tune in and let the animals come in, um, you know, whatever, ask for whatever ones want to come in and speak. But today I thought I'd use cards. It's sort of a, a rainy day and it's sort of a fun day to just kind of play around with oracle cards. Um, I didn't used to believe in oracle cards when I first started doing this work. I was like, thinking, well, you know, it's better just to have them come in and just tune in. And like I said, I still do that it, that way a lot, but my mind was really changed about Oracle cards when I started using them and um, just found that they're, yeah, they're super accurate. So it doesn't really matter actually that much whether you just channel directly or if you use the cards, it's always your higher self speaking to you anyway. So. Um, anyway, I was guided to create this deck um, and do the art and, um, you know, the whole bit. And this is all of uh, spirit animals. There's 44 cards in the deck. And I'm gonna, just going to choose one today and see which one that wants to come forward with a message for today. And I'm getting bison. All right. So um, let's see what bison wants to say today. And I'm really zeroing in on, I don't know if you can see it, this one it has this little spiral on the, the forehead. And this is a symbol that's been coming forward. It, it comes forward in my art a lot. It just, <laughs> it really comes forward. Um, and, and lately it's been coming forward still in, in the series that I've been doing. And to me, it really stands for the expanding power, the creative power of the universe, the creative power within each of us, the creative power that is spirit, um, which is also, it's also about sacred path, your sacred path. We are all here for a reason. You have a purpose and it's really about being true to that purpose. And which is really hard. I mean, it's like hard <laughs> because we come onto this earth and there's all this weird stuff happening and we have to deal with it. And a lot of times it's like dealing with just keep staying alive on the planet earth is, is tough enough regardless of, you know, trying to figure out your purpose. Um, so we get distracted. It's really, really easy to get distracted. And I think, um, you know, that's what happens throughout the lifetimes. It's like we're dealing, we're learning to live on, on, the, on the earth so that we eventually can figure out, okay, what am I here for? <laughs> you know, what's my real purpose? And, you know, when it comes down to it, the purpose of life is just living. <laughs> it's just, you know, it's just being, being just, just the beingness of, of, just being who we are and I know that sounds simple and sometimes it's like the most profound things are simple so it's like what's the purpose of a flower what's the purpose of a star I mean it just is and it's beautiful in its being so I think what Bison's is wanting to say right now is to really first of all accept that you're here for a reason and accept that you deserve to be here, that your being is an expression of source, is an expression of spirit, that's in and of itself, that's beautiful. And, and just to see the beauty of that. So just take this moment today, just take this moment today and just acknowledge just the beauty of being right here, right now, in this moment, the beauty of who you are, that you're an expression of spirit. And to bring this with you throughout the day, and just take a moment once in a while today and just breathe and just give thanks. You know, that's another thing that bison is, is an amazing totem animal for is, is gratitude. Just give thanks for being. 
and even if the surroundings are yucky, like right now we've got this really icky, yucky, rainy, cold, cold chilly day going on in, in Upper Michigan, but it's okay because, you know, that's part of, that's part of life. Um, and, but it's still beautiful to be alive. And the sun is still peeking through the clouds and there's still beauty to be seen out there, even though it's gray and rainy. Um, even even the clouds, even the rain, even the grayness can be beautiful. So take that with you today. Just find something beautiful about being alive today and focus in on that. Focus in on that several times a day. Just breathe it in and give thanks. So I hope that you've enjoyed this little, <laughs> little break today and uh, tune in tomorrow. We'll have another reading tomorrow.